The game of Scrabble is changing. The North American Scrabble Players Association, or NASPA, has decided that will delete all slurs from its word list for future tournaments. Hasbro, the parent company behind Scrabble, is also going to rewrite their rules to make it clear that slurs are not permissible in the game. The official Scrabble dictionary had already been removing offensive terms since the 90s. However, NASPA is an independent organization, having a license to use the name Scrabble officially. One of the leaders behind this push in NASPA believes that leaving the words in the game is contributing to the world's problems. Clearly, he is correct. I myself have spent many a night awake worried that someone may be playing an offensive tile arrangement in some dark corner of the world bereft of decency. A furious debate raged within the membership of NASPA, with some threatening to leave if one word was removed and others threatening to leave if any offensive term was left. But before NASPA could have their official vote, Hasbro decided that they must remove the words or lose their license of the Scrabble name. To be clear, at first I was quite shocked that some of these words were still allowed in the game. I would not dream of playing something like the C word at a family game night, let alone in an official setting in front of strangers. Can you imagine watching an official Scrabble tournament and seeing someone just put down the N word for some points? That would be insane, my jaw would drop. But to most Scrabble players, the game is more about math than definitions. It's about getting the highest score and the meanings of the words are inconsequential. Hardcore Scrabble players recommend memorizing all of the two and three letter words as those are the easiest to play. This ruling will remove some of those words which has members upset. They don't even see it as speech, just playing the game. Indeed, you do not even need to speak English to play and win. Top players have been non-English speakers before. Simply by studying the nature of words, recognizing what is and isn't playable, you can win games without knowing the meanings of the words you play. You would think that since this has made the news and they are officially banning words, it would be easy to find the list. But it has proven harder than you would think. The closest I have found is a list on ScrabblePlayers.org, which has the banned offensive terms divided into sections, such as slur, not in a code of conduct category, scatological, political, and anatomical. But they are so afraid of offending quote-unquote casual readers that they have obscured the words themselves by arranging the letters of the offensive terms into alphabetical or reverse alphabetical order, making deciphering them difficult as I don't even recognize many of these slurs or know their meaning. There is an email address provided where I could request a normal list if it's for media inquiries, but I think the guessing game is just more fun, maybe more so than Scrabble. Let's play a few rounds of Name That Slur. Uh, I guess that's Willy. I might be wrong, but is that even offensive? Also, the slang Willy is in the dictionary? Okay, wait. So that's Spaz. Is that slur about being disabled? I thought it was just being clumsy or klutzy. Okay, clearly that's blowjob. This category can get pretty dicey, but legitimately, I don't know what this is. There's only three letters, so it's not like there's a lot of options, but I am unfamiliar with whatever this is supposed to be. I, I guess I lose? How did you fare at home? And also, apart from not even knowing some of these terms, there are some I've seen that don't make sense to me, like Jew. Just just Jew? I didn't know that was offensive. Am I, am I missing something? Regardless, if you want to play this game with your friends, head on over to ScrabblePlayers.org forward slash w forward slash slurs. To win means you are probably a terrible person. I'd recommend getting the actual list from the email address too, just so you have an answer key. All in all, I am disappointed in Scrabble and NASPA. Not just because a game of words is now so afraid of words they can't even post a legible list on their website, but they are missing out on a great marketing opportunity. Think about it. The mobile Scrabble app, Scrabble Go, is late to the game. 
Everyone who is interested in Scrabble already has Words with Friends. They need to embrace this as an opportunity. Why not team up with Urban Dictionary and add all of their terms to the official list? That's how you expand your customer base. Imagine it. Scrabble, go f*** yourself. It's the hottest new mobile app. Scrabble, go f*** yourself. It still includes all of your favorite words like giraffe, bean, he, and it. But now with all the words you won't say in public. This version is not limited to single words either. We will even allow you entire dirty phrases. So if you want to call someone a dirty c sucker, you do it in the tiles. Tired of Aunt Cynthia playing words like bark? What does that even mean? Blow her mind by yeeting down your tiles with words like thought or Cleveland steamer. And we are aware that anyone can add terms to Urban Dictionary, but that's not a problem. With our integrated technology, if you add definitions that garner over 1,000 uses in our mobile app, we will give you one one millionth of a Bitcoin. That's right, one one millionth of a Bitcoin. Use your imagination to coin some new words and earn some coin yourself. After all, all words are meaningless and were made up by somebody. Own it and Shakespeare up that bit. Download now and remember to tell your friends to Scrabble Go f yourself. A subsidiary of Hasbro Incorporated.